the Olympics comprise colossal events which leave a lasting impact on the cities that host them. Often, cities bid for the chance to host these mega-events with the intent of promoting regional and urban development. Despite their undeniable costs, these events serve as catalysts for various critical policies, particularly those related to infrastructure development. As a result, people in charge of policymaking use their stringent timelines to implement projects with minimal public or market scrutiny. Furthermore, the Olympics provides an economic stimulus that benefits the private sector, yet the impact on the host city, its residents, and the economy remains a question. In this context, Political Economy of the Tokyo Olympics, edited by Professor Aramata Mio from Meiji University, provides an objective analysis of the goals and repercussions of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Held under a state of emergency, these games coincided with a surge in COVID-19 cases in Tokyo, which led to intense public criticism. Mega-events invariably involve a transformation of venues, causing residents to be displaced and impacting local employment. In some cases, infrastructure development can offset these losses. Industrialized nations hosting the Olympics often repurpose former industrial areas into modern residential or sporting facilities. However, the long-term vision for development determines the overall lasting effect of these mega-events. London, which hosted the Olympics in 2012, and Paris, which is slated to host the Olympics in 2024, have explicitly stated their development goals, which include promoting tourism and technology in deindustrialized areas. In contrast, Tokyo's urban development objectives during the 2020 Olympics remain obscure, even with the escalating urban expenditure. Many newly built permanent facilities, such as the Tokyo Aquatic Center and the Sea Forest Waterway, have failed to make a profit after the Olympics. Through an objective exploration of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, Professor Aramata concludes that the event was primarily an economic stimulus measure. In hindsight, these findings emphasize the need for a well-defined sustainable development plan before trying to benefit from mega-events.